Welcome back to this channel. Look at me, I'm not among aspirants with fake promises, says Tunubu. Let's get into the details. Former Lagos State Governor Bola Tunubu visited Castina State on Monday in connection with the forthcoming presidential primary of the All Progressive Congress. Tunubu, who is also a presidential aspirant under the umbrella of the APC, met Governor Aminu Masari, the state's party. Executives and delegates to the Congress, where he solicited their support for him to emerge as the party's candidate in the 2023 presidential election. He told them that apart from possessing track records and experience to lead Nigeria, he would serve the country with all his strength, adding that he is not among candidates with fake agendas and promises. Tinubu added that if he emerges as the party's presidential candidate and eventually wins the presidential election, it would tackle banditry and other crimes. He said, I'm here to meet you, my brothers and sisters, to beg and secure your support for the primaries. We have to stage primaries before one becomes the candidate. You're very important to me for that. I come to unite Nigeria and not to divide Nigeria. Anybody can run for the presidency, but not everybody can be the president. I am extremely different from other candidates who promise fake agenda. If I become the president, I will take care of all the abandoned projects for the economic development of the country. I am contesting to change the country for good, and I say you will never regret giving me your support. Tunumbu has gone to Katsina State on Monday to solicit for vote. He has gone to meet the people to beg them to support him and that he has to pass the stage of the primaries first before he eventually um, emerges as the next president of Nigeria. We all know that the Northerners are not happy with Tunumbu because till now they are blaming him for persuading them to vote for Mamadou Buhari. And with all that is happening in the country with the increased banditry in the in the north, this has made the Northerners really angry because they said that he was the one that forced Buhari on them. And apart from that, they say they do not want a weak, old, and tired president. That was the Arara Group Association and some other Northern Arara Group Association who came together to discuss. And they do not have any plans of even making Tinumbu their president. But we all know that it's not all faction of Castina states that will decide not to vote for Tinumbu. There will be a certain kind of, uh, there will be uh, another side that will want to vote for him. And there will be another side that um, that is not interested in voting for him. He has gone to solicit for the support. He is saying that they should support him and that he has that interest in mind and that he will make sure he fights banditry and other crimes. And this was one thing Buhari promised us during um, his tenure when he was about to enter during his administration. He said he was going to fight corruption and he was going to fight um, the banditry trees because that time we saw what happened with the Chiba girls, the abduction, and he promised that he was going to fight all this. And at the end of the day, see where we are now. Every time they make um, promises that they cannot fulfill, they, they put out great things in that manifesto, make you feel like, oh, they are going to do this, they are going to do that. And at the end of the day, it ends up in shattered hopes and dreams. So a lot of people have learned not to put their hopes in all these politicians because they do not deliver. They talk about what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. They, they sweet talk everything. And in your mind, you're thinking, oh, we have found our, 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 our perfect president. We have found the past perfect candidate for us. And when they're elected, they do nothing. They just come and destroy the country more and more without caring about how the citizens feel. And you know that we Nigerians have like to talk we love to express ourselves on social media we might not outrightly want to talk in people's faces but social media has given people an avenue to talk about how they feel a lot of bosses said tinumbu i do not trust you job said shameless fraudulent politicians and you can see that people are not even buying anything that any politicians have to say again. And that is why these agitators want, uh, 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 want to come out and say, let us just go to our, our, our own state. We know that when we're in our own state, we're with our own people. We will live happily. We will know how to um, maneuver everything. At least let 
um, the, the Yobas go to their state and form their nation. Let the Igbos go to their state and form their nation. Let the Awusas go to their state and form their own nation. Because people, f- uh, these agitators feel that they will live happily and better than everyone in uh, other living in Nigeria. You can see how these Fulani people, all these um, people, some people from the north, are going and killing other people from other states. There is nothing like unity between the tribes. We see how sometimes there's discrimination between tribes. You can imagine um, the north, the northerners saying that they are born to rule. So what of the the easterners and the and the westerners? What are we born to do to serve you guys? So at the end of the day, people have um, trouble with all this, and we can say that Nigeria is not united. Leave the the banditries, leave the crimes, leave everything. Let's talk about tribes. Are we truly? Are we truly united? We are not. So at the end of the day. The agitators are saying the best thing for us is to go and form our own nation. At least we will have a say in our administration. We will know how we will do things. And most of them have likened something like this to Obafemi Awolowo. And they are saying that during Obafemi Awolowo's time, we saw what it did for the Western region. We saw the free education, the free medical services. We saw everything it did for the Western, Western part. And how he navigated everything smoothly, making it outstanding, like seamlessly. He ruled seamlessly, navigated through his reign smoothly, did a lot of things for the Western region, even made it a pride, a thing of pride. Nobody can say they cannot talk about what Alba Femi Awolowo did in the Western region now. So most times, this are what Sunday Igbo, um, Adwala Adeniro, Banji Akintoye, and also Wale Shoenka. This is what they are saying. This is what they are saying. Let us have this separate nation. Let us first see how it, it is. This is the best thing we can do instead of believing in a one Nigeria that is never going to be one again. And Obasanjo made a statement that one man cannot change Nigeria. That Nigeria needs an intervention. Nigeria needs like a miracle. Because no matter who we are going to call to become the Nigerian president, Nigeria's problem is already too much. So it's not only one person that can fix it. Nigeria's problem is, uh, is, is out of a man's hand. It's left for, 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 the, for God to intervene, to make sure that everything is okay again in this country. And that's why these people are saying, let us just separate. There's nothing like one Nigeria. Nigeria is no more united. Nothing is in this country again. Let every single person go to their state. And live when we are with our people. We are of like minds. So we will know how we will navigate through everything. We will rule ourselves. We have a better administration than how Nigeria is right now. That is just what these agitators are, are pushing for. And the government does not like it. Because they know what they are trying to do. They are trying to ruin Nigeria more. Trying to put Nigeria into ruins. Because every day you are borrowing. And we are not seeing this so common you said you are borrowing. Nothing is being done. Every single time, well, Nigeria is only loan. Nigeria is only loan. Where is the money going to? No reply. No answer. Well, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And turn on your notification button to get more news updates from us as it comes. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.